Hi there, my name's Glenn. Today I'm here at Wayne and Anna's house in Dunedin. They've got a pretty typical 1930s bungalow here that they're working on trying to make more energy efficient. Today we're going to look at what they've done so far and what they can do to improve the place. As you can see, there's definitely some room for improvement. Let's go have a look, see what they've done. Great, they've got the fire on, it's nice and warm in here, but it still could be a bit warmer. Let's go find out how. The first place we're going to start is in the ceiling. Up to 40% of a home's heat can be lost through the ceiling. Okay, we're going to have a look at the insulation here. Now, there's some insulation in the ceiling here, and for a home built in the 1930s, that's pretty good. But this amount of insulation just isn't enough. They need to put a lot more insulation in. Here's how to do that. You really, ideally, you want two layers of insulation. This first layer goes in between the ceiling joists nice and neatly. The second layer goes across the top like this. This first layer is doing a good job, but its effectiveness is compromised by the ceiling joists that poke through it. That's called thermal bridging. These ceiling joists create gaps in the insulation through which heat can still escape. This second layer of insulation solves that problem. It's really important when you install insulation that there's no gaps at all. Let's go and look at something else that's really common in New Zealand homes. Here we can see a classic problem in New Zealand homes, condensation on the bedroom windows in the morning. The average adult breathes out about two litres of water every night while they sleep. Condensation happens when this warm, moist air touches the cold window surface. Then the air cools down below the dew point and the water condenses out of the air onto the window. The most effective way to deal with this is to double glaze your windows, but in an existing home that's a quite an expensive option. Another more cost effective option is to use a product like this, which is a temporary double glazing film that you can put on your windows. You can double glaze your whole house with this for just a few hundred dollars. Let's go check out why the living room was so warm earlier. Anna and Wayne have made their living room nice and warm here. They've done that by making a good choice about the type of heater they've put in. They've used a clean air approved radiant solid fuel burner. This heater heats up the walls, the people and the objects in the room rather than heating the air. A heater that heats the air in an older home is less effective because that warm air then just leaks out the gaps in the house. Why is all this important? It saves us money, it keeps us warm and it keeps our families healthier. It saves us money, it keeps us more warm. Uh, the, the. <laughs>